So we'll use our NFC tags, but first I'll show you the utility that is uh, used to do that. We use our LG Tag Plus. Now during our LG Tag Plus, we have our few user profiles. We have car mode, office mode, sleep mode, and user mode. And we can edit any one of these and we can um, simply clear a tag. Now um, well, these tags hold little bits of information. They hold a few kilobytes of information to program your phone to do a certain task. And to wipe them clean, see our chip back here, we just simply tap tap tag to clear. This is no longer the office mode tag. This is just a uh, regular NFC tag. We can program it to do anything. So we'll go to our user mode, set up the settings. So uh, when I tap this tag, do I want the sound to be on? Do I want the GPS to be on? I'll go ahead and do that. I will have it turn the Wi-Fi on and I'll have it turn the GPS on. And we can also start an application we want to launch. So I'll tap the Android zip root and we will start our applications. We can write on the tag so now that tag is written. So if we have our phone, bring it to our home screen, bring our tag into play. Now it opens our Android zip, did some stuff with our sound, turned on the Wi-Fi, and turned on the GPS. So that's the functionality of the NFC tags, and LG is really pushing this technology because a lot of the Android 4.0 smartphones are using the same thing. So now let's uh, test the processing power of the NVIDIA Tegra 3. We'll just go ahead and go to our quadrant standard and run a benchmark. Now what a benchmark does is it actually uh, tests your CPU, your 2D graphics, uh, your 3D graphics, as well as your memory. And our benchmark is over. As you can see here, we have our results. Our device got a 5019 score, which is just incredible. You can see it beat out the HTC One X as well as the Asus Transformer Prime. And uh, phones like the Galaxy Nexus are all the way down here, uh, usually clocking around uh, 3000 and some sort of score. But this is an incredible score. The NVIDIA Tegra 3 really did a good job of uh, performing. See here we have a 12044 score for the CPU. That's really high. And we have a very high benchmark, 5,019. That is a very, very good score. And guys, if you've got more questions or you uh, want to pick this phone up, I suggest checking it out. You can always drop us a line here at AndroidAuthority.com. Leave us a comment. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more info about this phone and other great phones coming out, as well as some, some comparison videos and uh, other great stuff to come. So keep locked in with Android Authority, guys, and have a good one.